Borrowed Black, A Labrador Fantasy, written by Ellen Bryan Obed, illustrated by Jan Mogensen. For the Children of Labrador. No one knows who belongs to Labrador, knows where Borrowed Black lived before. He came to stay on the tall dark shore, on the wildest tickle of Labrador. Some say he came like a wolf through the snow. Some say he came like a seal on a floe. Some say he came like a Jaeger in flight. Some say he came like a fog in the night. He borrowed the ugliest rock he could find, where the wind like a husky howled and whined, where the sea came hissing and slapping inside, and urchins and eels floated in on the tide. He borrowed boards from boats he had found, some that were floating, some that had drowned. Then he built a shack for the wickedest weather and caught 200 creatures to hold it together. He stayed there alone. No one went to his shack, for Barra Black borrowed and never gave back. He borrowed his hands from the paws of a bear, a patch of brown seaweed he borrowed for hair. His eyes were a wolf's and he borrowed to hear. Two empty seashells, one for each ear. He borrowed a beak from the gull for his nose. He cut off the sails of a schooner for clothes. Thin shells of goose eggs he had for his face. His bones were dried driftwood, shivered in place. He walked on seal flippers, they were his feet. He borrowed some whale's teeth so he could eat. He had a borrowing wind for a heart that held him together, each small borrowing part. But some of that wind he would often use to borrow whenever, whatever he'd choose. That wind he kept on the windowsill in a fishkin sack so it wouldn't spill. One night, Barra Black went out with his sack and borrowed the moon. On the way back, the moon broke into pieces, a billion and four. So he buried them deep off the Labrador, and Barra Black greedily grinned with pleasure to think he had borrowed so tremendous a treasure. Now the night had nothing of silver to hold. The winds were crying and the rocks were cold. The air was thick and dark and chill. And no one could tell where the sea met the hill. Young rabbits shivered, waiting for day. Hungry owls sought but couldn't find prey. Partridge and fox in the woods nearby looked long and frightened into the night sky. Only the fishermen in a nearby town knew who had taken the silver moon down. But they dared not go to the ugly shack to ask for the moon from Borrowed Black. And Borrowed Black slept on a stump by his door, dreaming of silver with an ocean snore, as 17 seasons of night went by, with not a piece of the moon in the sky. Then one night from the north in a gale came the boat that was built in the back of a whale, with the tail for its sail and a 50-foot spout, that a sculpin would climb with his spy to look out. Now the sculpin had seen some seasons before, the moon taken down and buried offshore. He had seen through the night Barra Black go, so he told Cabbage Captain, who was steering below. For 17 seasons along Labrador, they had searched for Barra Black shack on the shore. They came to a tickle this night in the storm, with stovepipe beard coughing to keep the boat warm. Mousy mate chattered, There's something on shore. I heard through the gale a terrible snore. Now the sculpin could see a small shack through the weather that 200 creatures held tightly together. Chewing on cabbage and trying to steer, cabbage captain called, Anchor, borrow black, must live here. Up got Sinky Sailor, who was happy and round, who always was laughing without making a sound. He jumped into the tickle with rope in his hand to sit on the bottom while the crew got to land. The curious crew were nine shapes and sizes. They couldn't stop looking about for surprises. They looked over and under and in what they passed. They went everywhere mumbling and everywhere fast. They paddled to shore on an old knotted log. Mousy mate sat in front, peering into the fog. When they reached the shore, Mousy Mate crept up to the shack where Borrowed Black slept. 
but the curious crew were left far behind, looking over and under the things they could find. When he looked to the window sill, Mousy Mate grinned, for there was the sack with the borrowing wind. But Barra Black sat on his stump by the door, still dreaming of silver with an ocean snore. In Mousy Mate tiptoed in, picked up the sack, but he squeaked as he scurried out through the crack. Borrowed Black heard and opened one eye to see Mousy Mate with the sack going by. He cried, that wind is part of my heart. If you don't give it back, I'll soon fall apart. He chased Mousy Mate down the rocks in the fog. Mousy Mate squeaked as he jumped to the log. Tell us, Borrowed Black, where the moon pieces lie. You'll not have your wind till the moon's in the sky. So Barrow Black boarded and pointed the way, far off and deep down where the moon pieces lay. Mousy Mate let the wind from its sack to gather the pieces of moon to take back. The wind tried to mend the moon without its blow, but the moon would break when the wind let go. So the wind, thoughtful of night and its kin, would not return to the sack again. It stayed in the moon, and as the night turned to day, Barra Black fell apart, and each part flew away. Then his ugly shack shook till the boards were free, and the 200 creatures went back to the sea. To this very night on the Labrador, when you stand and watch from the tall dark shore, you can see cracks in the moon round and high, and the silver it left on its way to the sky. And fishermen say if you follow the trail, you'll come to the boat in the back of the whale.